Hello. So once again, this video is sponsored by Autodesk. So let's get that straight out of the way. So here I have a, a, a horse in the scene. I've um, made this very simple input output graph and the result I've just shifted over there a bit. So it's, you know, it was here and I've just moved it there. So that's where we are so far. I haven't done anything particularly interesting. What I'm gonna try and do is make a smoothing deformer. And to do that, what you have to do is the graph has to, look at this object, has to take each point like there uh, that point would take its neighbors. So that point, that point, that point, and that point, which are connected by edges, not these diagonal ones, they're not counted. And it will average the position of those and then set the point into the new position. Okay, so that's what we wanna do first. So to get the neighbors, what we have to do is hit tab and go update point neighbors and stick that like that. And what this does is it, um, outputs, see this little hat shape again, that how outputs an array. For each point, it outputs the array of all the vertexes around it. Um, don't know what that's stored as, probably like a, I don't know, some sort of identifier, I don't really know. But it will sort of give, it will return that point, that point, that point, and that point. <clears throat> so, because it's an array, and remember that all of the points themselves are one big array, it's like an array of an array. So to deal with that, we have to deal with a loop. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get point positions of that mesh, and I need to stick this in a, a loop for each loop. Because I need to do something for each um, point. So I stick that in there, stick that in there. We don't have to worry about this max iterations and current index and stuff because it's not really relevant for this. So I might as well just delete them. It doesn't matter if you do that on this for each node. And then we go inside here and um, what we have to do is make sure that th now this is something which I which confused me in the last video and I asked about it and what you have to do is make sure that this is an iteration target and that means that it will um, use that it'll iterate this for each over this these vertexes oh I can't explain that very well because <laughs> I don't I don't fully know how to explain that but that's what you have to do anyway and then what I'm gonna do because this inside here so basically outside here we've got um, this is like an array for each point and each point is an array of points if you see what I mean so inside here we've stripped it down to just this is just now an array because inside here this is for each single point so it's no longer an array over an array. Inside this thing, it's just an array. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So we get um, from array, we wanna get the point position. And this in, this is a, like a, this is now like four, four indexes. Okay, so this is now outputting four, this is saying four indexes and it's getting the point positions of those indexes, of those points. The index is like, the po each point has like a number. And um, so for this one, we're getting four numbers and then we're saying from those four numbers, we wanna get the point position of them. So we're getting that one, that one, that. So basically out of here, we're getting four point positions. Now we can't set a point to four point positions. So we have to get array average, which I made that node last time. Um, average array, array average, and then we output that to there. So now out of here, we're getting a single value. Um, I'll just go in and show this. This is um, this is how you get the array average, but it's really worth just making that as a compound. You get the sum of the array, so that's the whole, all of the values, then you get how many are in the array, and that's just changing it to a float, and then you divide that by that. In the same way that if you had three threes that would make um 
so you, this would be like three because you've got three threes and that would be three plus three plus three which is nine you divide nine by three and you end up with three <laughs> that's not a great example because obviously the average of three threes is obviously going to be three um, but if it was say five two and one the array size is be still three numbers five three and one um, the sum of the array would still be nine and it dividing nine by three because there's three numbers in it would still end up as three so I mean hopefully that's relatively obvious um, anyway so we go out here so now we've got a single output so we can use that to set the point positions so set point position on the geometry and hopefully that should smooth it a little bit yeah okay so you see now that this one has if I if I um swap it back to that one it's just smoothing it down a little bit but with a smooth deformer just smoothing it one time is not particularly that useful so what we need to do is iterate this whole thing so that we can make this process happen you know multiple times and to do that we um, we put all of this don't need that one because that's just giving us the net that won't change but all of these ones will change you want to be able to set the point in position and then take the new point position as it is now like after the first one and then go through this process again so what we need to do is get this whole section and stick it in another loop and the loop we'd use for this is called iterate and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I wish there was a quick way well there might be a quick way of getting this inside there but I'm going to do it the clunky way which might be the only way but I don't know and just cut that and double click go inside there paste it in and then hook it all back up again so out geometry there um, we're going to need an in geometry to go to there we're also going to need the in vertex stuff um, that geometry is also going to need to go to the to there um, we're going to need to hook up the geometry there and the out adjacent vertex to there and then the out geometry to there it's not working because of some thing that I don't fully oh yeah right because this geometry is going to change every iteration you have to change this thing to a port a a port state okay and you can see that's already done it and what that means is that yeah this is going to go and loop this around and this thing will change each frame this now we've changed it to a state okay don't worry if this isn't it's, it's too confusing it's sort of confusing for me as well so this now this iterate thing this tells us the maximum amount of iterations that happens so if we did it two times it's not going to smooth it as much if I keep going up say to four it's going to do it a bit more if I go up to like 50 it's going to really smooth it like that and um, so let's just go back a little bit let's go to like five um, oh that's it <laughs> um, so obviously if you wanted this as a you know just a compound that you could use you do that and then go create compound and call it smooth and you'd probably want to expose that iterate thing on the outside so um, let's go in there where's the control for the iterate thing max iterations so you'd hook that up to there and then now you've got that on the outside oops sorry. now you've got that max iterations out here which you could then expose in the scene if you wanted to like that so now it pops up in the um, bifrost graph extra attributes there so you can now go five just some the you know, interface thing whatever it's called um, yeah 
going to leave it at there. Don't worry if you don't get this. Um, as I say, it's me just playing around with how these uh, these looping things work. It's I'll I'll do some more more simple examples. This is sort of like a double whammy of me using two two different types of um, loops in one. So you know, it's, it is it can be pretty confusing. Um, but I'll leave it there. Thanks for listening and watching. And um, I'll do another one soon. Cheers.